Good afternoon and welcome to the Boulevard. The team's out on the field and certainly the biggest match of the season so far. Real atmosphere here at the Boulevard. A much bigger crowd than we've been accustomed to for first division matches. St Helens today is the illustrious opposition in the third round of the Regal Trophy. Tremendous match in prospect. Saints had a bit of an injury crisis. A couple of suspensions to Matatua and uh, the other centre, Andy Northey. We're out of the side, but it's a very formidable lineup they've got. The whole side, one late change. Richard Gay is out, injured with a hamstring, and Rob Nolan comes in at fullback. So the whole side, as it lines up, Rob Nolan at fullback, Leroy McKenzie and Paul Sterling on the wings, with Mayor David and Tavita Vakona in the centres. Chris Kitchen and Johan Windley, the halfbacks, and what a, what a sort of clash it's going to be between them and uh, Bobby Goulding and Carl Hammond for Saints today. Steve Craven, Gary Duke, and Tim Street, the front three. Andy Fisher, Steve McNamara, and Gary Devorty, the back three with Terry Manning and Jazz Cassidy on the bench. On the Saints side, we'll pass over to our uh, colleague from St Helens, Ron, who'll uh, give us a much more uh, detailed impression of the Saints side. Ron? Love you, Tess, over. Uh, thanks very much, Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve Prescott's a pullback. Joy Hayes, uh, David Lyon in for the suspended Northy, Paul Lachlan in the other centre, Anthony Sullivan on the wing, Hammond and Golding, the half-back pairing, with Fogarty, Cunningham and Dwyer in the front row, joint Perellini and Busby, the back three, Waring and uh, Phil Waring on the bench and Andy Leatham a debut in the first team for him. Hull uh, in possession and it's going to be an exciting game I would imagine today even though uh, Hull uh, in the first division, Saints in the Premier Division but it's cup rugby and it's knockout rugby Steve isn't it? Yes it is and here's Tim Street We're looking for a big game Tim up to the 40 metre line Craven Brian Holwell here with me is always the biggest problem for for uh, Hull probably is the pace and power of St Helens. They've gone full time and although a lot of the Hull players of course have played against St Helens, some have played on winning sides against them. It's playing in that lower division through the rest of the season that might be the telling factor, Brian. Yeah, I think it'll be the pace of the game really. So it's St Helens heading ball, 10 metres away from the line. Yes, scrum down, Saints feed, 10 metres away from their own line. Bobby Golden will feed, a place in the last eight for today's winners. Hull had an excellent win in the last round, 56 points to 18 here at the Boulevard against York. Saints had an impressive win away at uh, top of the table at Keithley, at Cougar Park, 42-14. So it's going to be exciting, isn't it? Bernard Dwyer bringing the ball forward. Saints again, moving it quickly. Nine players out, included the suspended players, but it's no excuse, you've got to get on with the job. Obviously difficult for the coach, but Perellini back after uh, being injured. Took a knock at the Broncos early on in the game, only about four or five minutes. But Saints moving it cross field. Dean Busby, ex uh, Hull FC player. And Bobby Golden puts it downfield, looking to fine touch the whole player lets it roll in knowing that it will be Hull head and ball down at that bottom end yes so very much tit for tat in the first two sets of six tackles in the game both sides coming up with a good kick producing a scrum 10 meters from the opposition's line this time Hull's feed McKenzie Kitchen, Mayor David. Tackled eventually by Dwyer. And Lachlan, short side play, McNamara. Hayes and Lyon in the tackle. Windley, Devotee. Tim Street, over halfway. It's the last tackle. Saints looking to put pressure on Windley. It's in a good deep kick. Which Prescott has to field on his own line. It's tackled by Sterling and Vakona. Yes, Windley had to get it away very quickly there. The ball was uh, across to him. And the Saints cover was in quickly. And now Hull doing the job. Keeping the Saints down at that end. Steve McNamara in the second row, he's uh, played a lot of his rugby in the uh, front row, but Saints move it in feed, a loose ball, Hull come up with possession, Kieran Cunningham tried to break down the blind side, 
Penalty against Saints. And Steve McNamara looking up there to Russ Walker to see what the instruction should be. He's going to go for goal. Holding down against Saints. First mistake of the game, Brian. Uh, Cunningham was really rather too short a short side there. Yeah, it was. Quite a difficult kick this from McNamara. He's only, what, seven or eight yards in from touch. But not much wind. What there is is just behind Hull, but it's, not, it's quite a gentle breeze. Been in pretty good kicking form this season. It's on the right side for McNamara to bring the ball in. No, I just brought it in a little bit too far. So it'd be Saints to drop out on the 20. Just a couple of feet outside the left-hand post. So it's Golden to restart play. Put it deep. Keeps it low. The wind this ball. Goes past Wimmy to Rob Nolan. Playing at fullback. Late. Inclusion for Richard Gay. Cunningham tackles. May David. Reaches halfway. McNamara. Tackle by Fogarty. Windley. Kitchen. Dummy drop off. Gives it to the corner. Tries to find a gap. Nearly does. Duke, Devotee, last tackle, Kitchen to Windley, oh, off the St. Helens man, still the sixth tackle he says, St. Helens ball, yes on the sixth tackle the whole tried to kick it through, it was uh, played onto the man, the man didn't actually play the ball but Tim Street being pulled out there for going in with a thumb, You'd uh, probably see that uh, clear on the video. He's, uh, he's a hard man, his street, and he just put that little bit of extra beef in it. And unfortunately, referee Presley from Castleford uh, picked him out there. It's going to be a big lift for Hull. Obviously, they got beaten last week at Pedestin, 34 points to 18. And as we know, Saints came through with a 32 points to 18 win at Odessal Stadium, finishing up with 11 men. And consequently, now they're out for one match. Matalchi are out for three. It's Bernard Dwyer taking it up the centre. About seven minutes of the game gone. No score at present. Golden shot ball to Busby that certainly looked forward from our commentary position. But play allowed to go on. Cunningham scampers away, turns the ball back to Prescott. In the line, it's now with Hammond. Out to Perellini. Perellini in the second row after uh, being injured. Saints moving it cross field. Golden takes charge. Joint players in, brings Chris Joint. He looks to turn it back. It's the last tackle of the sequence. Golding running it, Duke Grever in it for the corner, but it's come to Hull, and Hull back in possession in their own 10 metre area. Sterling will go for nothing half. Now Mackenzie's turn. And almost up to the 30 metres, good yards made by the wingers, and uh, certainly Loughlin hanging on at the play of the ball. Sterling again in the play, Hull certainly using their wingers, up to the 40 metre line. Duke goes from acting half, throws a dummy. It's the fifth and last tackle, Hull just inside the Saints half. Windley, is it on the ground? Is that going to hold up in the field of play? It's another one of those useful kicks. And Prescott well pursued. Saints in possession again on their own line. Yes, and didn't they do well there, Hull? They made 50-odd metres. Upfield, then with the kick, and it's pegging Saints now, five metres from their own line. Joy Hayes ducks into the tackle. Romeo David going in with a swinging arm, indicated right in front of the referee. Initially, uh, Steve, I thought that uh, with Joy Hayes ducking down, that uh, Hayes had knocked him, uh, knocked him out of the way with... Uh, with his head as he dove in, but obviously not. He must have picked that up straight away. Yes, and uh, Saints have the penalty. So they'll have possession on the 40-metre line. 
and it's their turn now to try and pierce this hull, a tight hull defence. See it's again approaching the halfway line, a Paralini on the Apollo Paralini on the opposite diagonal, takes it well, drives it well, ten, me ten minutes have gone, no score, as Hammond and Golding went towards the loop movement, it's Fogarty up the centre, turns it to the left, the pass was forward, but David has it, near David, into space, turns it back inside, well, a pass that he needn't have, it was on the first tackle, and the man need he should have stuck hold of it, he decided to pass it over the top to McKenzie, uh, that was a high tackle, but Busby gets out of it, he's only the full-back to beat, he's up to the 20 metre line, Hull have to get back, Saints now on the attack, Coming on at dummy half, he moves it right. Golding, Hammond, out there. Lachlan, looking for support. Perellini's there, and Perellini's in. That's a good try there. And put down, put that down to uh, Paul Lachlan there. In the end, a lovely, superb pass. But initially, the hole led to their own downfall. Mia David, he didn't need to pass the ball over. Sterling, was it McKenzie was there with him, but uh, he couldn't take it. A needless pass in the end. It was picked up. Busby went up centre field. He was brought down about uh, 10 metres from the line. The ball was moved over to the right. And a lovely pinpoint precision pass from Lachlan in the end onto the supporting Perellini. And he touched down 10 metres to the right of the... 10 metres in from the uh, Thripney stand side. His sixth try of the season for the Saints. Scored one for Western Samoa in the World Cup. He finished off well, but a lovely pass by Paul Lachlan in the end. Four points to nil. Saints in the lead. McNamara to kick off. Certainly a player there, McNamara, in the second row. As I said earlier, he's played a lot in the front row. But attracting a lot of uh, the uh, Premier Clubs. Well, the ball going directly dead. The mix up the, between the Saints there. Joy Hayes, Cunningham. The ball going dead, and Saints forced to drop out from between the sticks. But just after the Saints scored at one end, Steve. Saints uh, lose the composure. The ball went dead, and uh, now Hull are going to regain possession. Yes, Hull opportunity. Saints dropping out from under their own posts. Still a low kick. No win today. Perfect conditions for November. Upward bounce for Johan Winley, does well to pick up. Gets almost back to the 30 metre line. Mary David. Andy Fisher. Mm -hmm. Craven. Take your own back, Craven. But Sandy Fisher and Bernard Dwyer have an argument. Midfield. That's, um Fogarty. Fogarty, is it? But it's certainly not done all any good because they're in possession. No, it's Fogarty and Fisher. There's uh, the landsmen are agreeing on their story. Fogarty's pulled out. And Fisher. He's just saying, Brian, let's have a good clean fight. <laughs> you know, break when I tell you. So it's a penalty to hold. <laughs> Pretty straight. Should be two points. Yeah, it was one of those uh, altercations where I don't think a clean blow was struck, actually, there. Uh, Maybe not, Brian. Fogarty just lost on points that time. <laughs> so it's McNamara. Good one. So it's going to be played a quarter, about a quarter an hour. It's Hull 2, St. Helens 4. So it'll be Golding to kick off. Cunningham holding in the ball.
the corner. Tackled by Dwyer and Joint. Sterling. Tackled by Cunningham. Duke from Action Arthur. Oh, a good tackle there by Dwyer. McNamara. Oh, come left. The short of halfway. We play the ball. Kitchen. To Devotee. Last tackle. Yeah, yeah. It's his son. Windley. Good kick by Johan Windley. Turns Hayes again. Probably just found touch. It just, just inside the field of play. So another 10 metre scrum. Yes, excellent kick on the last tackle there by Hull FC. Scrum down, Saints feed, 10 metres in from the Thripney, uh, Thripney stand. Hull push hard in that scrum and they'll hope to contain Saints in the 20 as Joey Hayes comes in off the wing. Exciting prospect. Dean Busby, crossfield. Get the uh, usual uh, reception from uh, the whole faithful. They're holding down at the tackle. Always a difficult area there because you never know if the man's tackled him. I mean, uh, whether the referee is going to rule that the tackle is a, a fit, an official tackle. He could get up and uh, run and score a try. You've got to make sure. But on, on that occasion, it was ruled that it was holding down. Saints with the penalty, and now they're another set of six. To make inroads towards the whole try line. Fogarty attracts three whole players round him. Cunningham a dummy half. Golden moving it to the left. Looking to draw players in. Busby there in a big hole. Cunningham's on his left. Uh, Sullivan's on his left, I should say. And Sullivan puts it down. Hull come up with possession. Well, a golden chance there. Bond at that end, really. Busby in a big hole. And Sullivan couldn't contain the pass. A good counter-attack by Rob Nolan, up to the 40 metre line. McNamara, Craven, makes the halfway. Yeah, Saints bombed a chance there. Lovely ball by Bobby Goulding. Nice ball out straight to Bacana, but he can't hold it. And Saints back in possession with David Lyon. Yes, certainly seesaw game, Steve. A lot of uh, handling errors. But this lad Craven, is he a local lad? He certainly looked impressive in the early minutes. Very strong lad. Signed from your last season, uh, Ron. Well, very impressive, but holder. Penalised. Bobby Golden with the kick to touch. Well, 18 minutes of the game gone. Saints in the lead by four points to two. But they're in possession. They're driving up to the whole 20. Dwyer takes it into the 20, not much uh, attention from the whole forwards. Craven's one of the men in there. Cunningham, Golding, Golding changes the point of attack to Perolini. Perolini straightens up, the Terminator as he's known, big Western Samoan. Well, he didn't play that ball correctly, I don't think. The referee's moving in, and he's going to rule that he didn't play it correctly. And I think he's right there. He didn't get up and play the ball, and uh, a penalty to Hull FC and a correct decision, Steve. Yes, I think it was one of those where he was um, trying to get to his feet very quickly, but the ball went before he'd uh, actually regained his feet. So it's uh, Tavita Vakona bringing play close to halfway. Tim Street. Nice run by Street into the Saints' half. Fisher. He says round the shoulders, the crowd on the far side, pretty high rate with that one. Kitchen, go through the gap, oh, just needed somebody on his shoulder. Good last ditch tackle by Dean Busby. Craven. And another one that's high-ish, but on the last tackle, hold now. Go to the right with Windley, kicks through. That's just going to go the wrong side of the post, so Saints to restart from the 20-metre line. And there's one thing, though, Steve Hull, they're certainly making the yardage out. They, when they've got the ball in the possession, that was a tremendous set of six. And as you said, the ball just going at the wrong side and going touching goal, and Saints will restart with a tap from the centre of the 20. 
tightly contested game a hard game no more than you can expect here at the boulevard and obviously with uh, maybe a new coach on the horizon Phil Windley and Russ Walker were running the job Phil Windley's resigned Russ Walker's up here on the gantry with us and uh, an appointment of an Aussie uh, Sigsworth uh, imminent maybe who knows but it's Cunningham in possession for the Saints they're in the Hull FC half it's Bernard Dwyer attacking halfback it's four points to two in Saints favour joint Hammond good ball to Lachlan well, a, a bad ball out to Sullivan. The quickness of the hand uh, was the idea. But obviously, Lachlan acknowledges that he'd given a bad pass there, even though if Sullivan had taken it, I think that pass uh, was forward. But it's going to be a scrum down, Hull feed, four points to two after about uh, 20 minutes of play. Yes, both sides need to be a bit more secure with the ball. It's making for fast and furious stuff. There's Mayor David on a nice drop-off by... Chris Kitchen. Here comes Gary Devorte. Out of the corner. He's through. He's flying. He's got. Uh... Oh, he's still going. To the corner for the corner. Slides over. What a great try. A brilliant try. Oh, uh, that's been David Lyon. You've given Pascal a great chance of taking him. But he's got on the outside of him. Beat up the tackle. And then very sensibly, Brian, I think, slid for the line, got low, and in the rather wet conditions on top, slid over, wasn't going to be stopped. Great try by Tavita O'Connor. An absolutely brilliant try, really needed some scoring, held up two sets, defenders very, very, very well, and then, as you said, that was a bit short, confident that his, at the wet ground, that his impetus had slid him over the line, which he did. It was never going to be stopped once he got clear. Tremendous go, try, go, and no more than hold his head. Yes, super try there, Brian. There's no danger about that by corner. Took it at pace. What could you say? 40, 45 metres out. Uh, he, he glided past David Lyon as if he wasn't there. Prescott came in. Uh, couldn't complete the tackle by corner. Pushed him off. And in for the four-pointer. Pushes, uh, pushes Hull into the lead. Here's the conversion. Oh, look at that. That's a super kick from the touchline from McNamara. Six points to Hull FC. They're now in the lead by tremendous there well that was a great try and a great conversion by Steve McNamara and really there seemed to be in that try so little on when Vacona got the ball it was a it was a flattish pass from Gary Devorty but there was plenty of cover there and here is Gary Devorty from the restart bringing play up to the 15 metres from his own line here's Sterling That's a 30 metre line, that's good running by the whole winger. Been in doubt during this week whether he would play. Tim Street. That's a tackle from uh, Fogarty. Plenty of falling in that. Steve McNamara, meanwhile, goes on the halfway. There's a swinging arm by Fogarty. Tim Street moves in, he'd be well to keep away from this. It was a very hard tackle on Tim Street before, I thought it was a fair tackle, just plenty of good collision between the forwards, but then a swinging arm run, no doubt about that. No, there's no doubt about that, Steve. Uh, Perellini made the initial tackle, Fogarty came in over the top, obviously to assist, perfectly fair, and then play moved over to the left, and Fogarty went in with a swinging arm. I don't know whether he actually connected, Steve, but the intent was there, the touch judge came on, it's a penalty to Hull, and Bobby Gold in there, he'll have to have a word with Adam Fogarty. We can't afford to have any more players suspended. He'll have to temper his temper, and usually he's a very mild-mannered chappy. As all the former heavyweight boxers are, Ron, eh? Correct. <laughs> well, I think he got well nib a bit by Tim Street there. But here's Craven taking play to the 30-metre line. Windley. Street. Midfield, 25 metres out. Nice ball to Rob Nolan. Then a flailing tackle by Lyon. I don't think it was high. Devorty, Windley, Tim Street, and the charge. Just about eight metres away. Kitchen goes. I passed on another good kick, though. Collected by Cunningham, I think it is, over there. And Saints in possession. That's a good clearing run. Yes, but Tim Street, he's all up. 
action, isn't he? There's no danger. He's a forward that I like. I know he's got a fiery temper. And the game just warming up and a little... Uh, is it Tim Street? I've just done about him. And uh, as I said, he's got a fiery temper and a little bit of an altercation over there on the far side. So uh, plenty of talking points. I know it's some challenge. We've had uh, a few fiery forwards that can do the business. Uh, Dave Chisnall, one of them, Brian Hogan. Uh, class forwards, international forwards, but certainly uh, very fiery. We're over there, the two touch judges and the referee, and it looks as though they're going to have the world cut out this afternoon. A place in the last eight on the Regal Trophy. 25th year of the Regal Trophy. And uh, certainly things getting warmed up. I bet, there's, uh, I bet there's some antics in that pack, Steve, when they, when they do get down. But Bobby Golden being brought over, the captain. Steve McNamara, so it's uh, a case of... Uh, keep your forwards, keep your players uh, tempered, otherwise... Uh, they're either in the sim bin or for the early bath, Steve. Yes, it's uh, plenty of fire in this cup tie. The referee with his back pocket. Gilding is in the blood bin. Certainly, I don't think Bobby Gilding was involved in that at all. But, uh, no, he's coming. No, coming straight back. Penalty to Saints. And the, the referee has been content to talk to the captains there, rather than the players who are actually involved. So, Saints in possession. Yes, Fogarty. Plenty of attention as Fogarty comes through, no doubt as you can expect. Cunningham breaks blindside. Ten metres inside the whole half. Holding the lead, eight points to four. So it's got to get back in the hunt, approaching the half hour. As Dwyer takes the ball deep. Quickly spread out to Chris Joint. Joint bursts through, looking for support. There was support from Sullivan on the left. He was going mad, but it couldn't be uh, passed to him. Golding over the top, Penalini into a big hole. Support there. Taken up by David Lyon. Can Lyon get in? He's short, just short is David Lyon, is he? Oh, the try's given. Oh, the try's given. The referee looked at the touch judge. Good pass by Bobby Golding, a long cutout pass. He could see the tunnel were a little bit stretched over this side. It came to Perellini. Perellini put it out to David Lyon, and David Lyon dove in for the line. I thought he was short at first, Steve. Uh, the, I don't know, the referee couldn't make his mind up. And uh, I think it was just that Golding cutout pass that, uh, that did the trick, though. And he guts it. Through the middle, good kick by Bobby Golding. Pull eight, St. Helens ten. Yes, David Lyon's first try of the season. In fact, he only made his uh, first appearance for the Saints uh, last week. Contractual difficulties. He's been on loan to Sheffield Eagles, the side we play this coming Wednesday away at uh, Don Valley Stadium. But he's back here. I think something's going to be sorted out. He's on the score sheet there from the pass from Perellini, as Steve rightly says, it was Chris Joint that uh, made the initial break on the far side, then the ball transferred over. And from David Lyon, gets a bit back after uh, unfortunately missing the tackle on Vicona in his efforts. Uh, or when Vicona went in for the try in this bottom left-hand corner. But it saves back in the possession. Back with the possession, leading 10 points to eight. Adam Fogarty. Quickly plays it to Cunningham, Cunningham scampers away, brings it up to the halfway, Cunningham again, high corner in along with the Craven, and loose forward Devorty in his uh, second spell here, up to the boulevard, Chris Joint in a big hole, well clamped initially, Prescott from the dummy half position, Moving up, making that extra man in the Saints lineup. The last tackle of this sequence. Bobby Golding jinxed, changes direction, brings it blindside, chips it through on the opposite diagonal, but Hull get the possession. Windley, I think that is, that comes through. Is indeed well picked up by Phil Windley. This is Mackenzie from acting half back. The ball comes loose. The force of the tackle, Paulini. And uh, the idea was right, but unfortunately there, Sullivan looks infield in disgust. 
Saints have scored many a try from that blindside ploy, but it wasn't to be on this occasion. No room at all there, and Sullivan given a pass. Well, one against the head. The referee ruling that the scrum's going to be packed again. Well, somebody's going in the sin bin here. Is it red or is it uh, yellow? Well, we can't see, but it's Fogarty that's uh, got his marching orders. Well, he's going in the dugout, so it's only ten minutes in the sim bin. And uh, he'll have the penalty. There's a bit of sense and discipline there. And here's Craven. Almost up to the 30-metre line. Street. Windley. Kitchen, nice ball. David. Andy Fisher. No oh, good run by Andy Fisher. Only uh, 15 metres from the Saints line. McNamara to play Windley. Inside, nice ball to David. Didn't quite get into his stride, about eight metres out. Good hull attack. View goes to knocking half. And is he in? Uh, double movement the referee gives against Gary Duke. He must have been very, very close, Brian. Penalty to Saints. Yeah, and good pressure there by Hull. As it is, Prescott's clearing the line for St. Helens. I think Sullivan will run off from acting out for you. Yes, Sullivan scampers away. As you say, uh, Steve, he must have been very close there, Duke. Maybe he hit the post, it stopped his momentum, and then uh, he, he bounced over. But Paralini, jinking, sidestepping. Joint takes it centre field, turns it back inside to Cunningham. He quickly moves it to Lachlan, but the cover defence is there. Windley there involved, Duke. And the ball has well chipped up as Cunningham scampers away. Sees the gap, drives it up, 15 metre burst, inside to Dwyer. See it's keep it going, keeping the ball moving. Good run from Hammond. 30 metres from the whole line, the last tackle of this sequence, Golden moves round one man, turns it inside to Perellini. Perellini turns it back, that's what you call a speculator. Hammond tries to drop on it, but it's the sixth tackle. See it's moving it there, Steve, it didn't come off for them, but uh, the whole defence could have been pierced again. Well, here's a good run by Paul Sterling, great run. Oh, well, that's a very valuable 20 metres. And now Mackenzie running for knocking half. And two good players by Hull, taking out the real hard yards here. Up to the 40 metre line. Vakona. Up to the halfway. McNamara. Well, that's a good one by Steve McNamara as well. So a very good reply by Hull. Devotee. It's the last tackle. Gary Duke. Windley. Kicks through to that area. Just finds touch in the field of play. Well, it's a good set of six by Hull, taking it right from their own line. As it has been all through the match here, Steve. Let's face it, when Hull have been pegged uh, by the Saints at their own end of the field, they've certainly brought it up, they've done the business again, they bring it 30, 40, 50 yards, kick to the corner, and now it's a scrum down Saints feed. And Saints with the uh, long distance trip up to the whole line. Joey Hayes coming through, if he just duck under the tattle, we know he's got blistering pace, but I'm sure the whole FC players will have a lot to say about that. You can see the commitment in the tackle there as they move in on the Saints players. Chris Joint and Saints look a little bit dishevelled. Quite bunched there in the middle. Well, a lot of hanky-panky at the play of the ball. Should be a penalty to the Saints. It's played quickly by Kieran Cunningham. He scampers away. But Cunningham puts the gas pedal down. He comes across. Gets it to Joey Hayes, did well to take it. Hayes goes back inside, feeds it to Lyon. Saints keep it alive. They move crossfield. It's still going golden now. Out to Dwyer. Oh. 15 metres inside the whole half. Three whole tacklers come in. McNamara, the last man in. And Saints with about another four, it must be. As Hammond, Hammond breaks through the defence. Lachlan was on his left. Hammond was going down in the tackle. 
Ball in from dummy half, joint, joint, bobs, weaves, jinx, chips it to Hammond, the ball's dropped, Lachlan will chip it forward, but there again, the last pass just going down, but just as Hull have done, they've come right up from one end of the field to the other, Saints did it there, and it's Hull possession, scrum feed from this, uh, this 10 metre scrum. Yeah, I think we saw a bit of Kieran Cunningham's class there, didn't we? Not only the run, but the way he kept his head at the end of it and picked up a pass which kept the sense play moving. It wasn't a panic pass, it wasn't a speculator, it was very good for Lacona. Score of that outstanding try for Hull, but this time tackled on the 20 metre line. Well to Rob Nolan in the clear. Oh, shown some tremendous pace, Rob Nolan. And a penalty against him for no. They're getting up and not playing the ball. It's 50 50, but the referee giving some others the benefit of the doubt there and hold or undo their good work. Well, this is what I say about this ta this thing, Steve. Sometimes you don't know whether the player is tackled. It, it, fair enough, he was flat out. He was it was all down on all fours. Prescott had hold of his uh, ankle, but was was it completed? Uh, obviously, the referee thought it was, and uh, Nolan didn't think it was. But Dwyer. He's away with it now. Now it's with Golden Saints. Move it left. Can Saints just score before the interval? Dean Busby, centre field, 12 metres out. Joint taking up the running and Joint will move it left. The ball's lost. Hull FC have it again, so quite a few handling errors. We have had a little bit of uh, rain beforehand, but uh, the, the handling errors must be uh, catastrophic, I think, Steve. Yes, and. Uh... Saints in particular have spoiled some very good positions in the whole 20 metre area and they looked quite honestly likely to to threaten the whole line. This is a good run by Vacona up to the 40 metre line. Mayor David. A rumbling run by David into the Saints half. Windley. Kitchen. Nice ball to Tim Street. Lovely ball. Street's on a run. It's into the Saints 20 metre and a lovely ball by Chris Kitchen. It's the last tackle. What will Hull do? Comes to Windley. Takes the man. He runs right through. Is he going all the way to the line? On the sixth tackle, Windley holds short. Oh, that was desperately close. Was it desperately close, as you said, Steve? I thought the man was in there. I thought he'd slid over, but Joey Hayes breaks out of the tackle. Oh, but good cover defence by the prop forward, Creighton. Took him well, covered the yards and came back. Golding up to Perolini. Well, Windley there on the sixth tackle, he was very desperately unlucky. I thought he was in, but he must have been held just short. The referee was right on the job, obviously. Better position than us, as Chris Joint just uh, brought down on the halfway. Sullivan, Sullivan, sees the gap. Has he got the pace to round Rob Nolan? Well, he has now. Joy as he breaks out of two tackles and Sullivan will come midway between the touch, the main stand and the sticks. Well, that's a killer blow for Hull right before the interval. We must actually be on the 40 minutes there. Well, there didn't look anything in it at all as it came over here. Joey A started it, brought down by Craven. The ball went midfield, it was took upfield. Then Sullivan took it from the acting half back position. There didn't look anything on. Bitter disappointment, Steve. But he broke through the tackle of Nolan. And then uh, Mackenzie was it that came in and he couldn't take it. And he came in and uh, maybe he could have come a bit further. We're never happy, are we? Uh, but uh, a try to the Saints right on the stroke of half time, Steve. And that's where our sense of court hole most often, I think, today. From acting half back, getting between the markers, Hull really not quite getting themselves set there. And sense of so much pace. It was a good try, but uh, so nearly a try at the other end just a moment ago. Cal. Bobby Goulding. Another goal to Bobby Goulding and Saints out now at uh, 16 points to eight. And a very handy lead for them, but it's been a tremendous first half run. 
Well, it certainly has, Steve. It's been exciting. It's been end-to-end -end stuff. There's the half-time hoot, and as I say, right on the stroke of half-time. But both uh, both teams coming closer to both ends. Gary Duke, a, a, a judged a double movement. Johan Windley there, a, a judged of a just short. Both look tries from all position, but the referee well positioned at the other end. Saints coming perilously close. The last pass just going adrift. And then to add insult to injury with the score at 10 8, obviously for Hull. Sullivan goes in for that try, an excellent try from the leading try scorer in the league. Anthony Sullivan makes it his 19th of the season, it's his 15th in the league. But the, the half time score here at the Boulevard Hull FC 8, St Helens 16. Back with you at the Boulevard for this uh, third round tie in the Regal Trophy. Saints in the lead at half time by 16 points to 8, courtesy of that Anthony Sullivan try. Goal by Bobby Golden. Extended a two point lead to an eight point lead. Off we go with the second half action. Hull kick it deep. And Saints now looking to extend the lead. And obviously, the coach, the Hull coach, Russ Walker, at half time. Well, uh, obviously have uh, had a go on his side but praised his side because they've done some good work in the first half but let her try in there and obviously that will uh, bring his attention won't it but Bernard Dwyer the man in possession Mia David and the half back there Kitching in at the tackle Lachlan up to the halfway line so Saints starting off well from taking the ball just uh, from their own line and bringing possession up Anthony Sullivan, no room for him there. He's got to go in field. He pushes the tacklers off. Oh, but that's a crunch tackle there, isn't it? Super work by McKenzie. He came in. The last one of the sequence. Bobby Golding puts a tester up. Steve Prescott's there chasing it. Prescott knocks it back to Fogarty. Still on the last tackle. Fogarty chips it for the corner. McKenzie, oh, just gets a foot to it. As uh, Hammond was coming in there, he was nearly caught. But Fogarty back on after his 10 minutes in the sim bin. And we've got to remember that, haven't we, that uh, Saints were down to 12 players for the last 10 minutes of the first half. Mackenzie there, nearly paying the price, just got his boot to it as the kick through from Adam Fogarty on the last tackle after Prescott had knocked it back. So Saints now with another set of six to put pressure on the whole line. Apollo Paralini, the Terminator, drives it up, centre field, brought down midway between the Hull 20 and the halfway. Fogarty again, running diagonally. That's two out of the six, and Cunningham at dummy half. Saints look as though they're going to move it blindside. They are. Chris Joint takes it to the left. And Cunningham again turned it in field. Dwyer looking for the way through. Five metres short. Hull forced to defend, Golden turning in the tackle, brought down a metre short. Golden chips it forward, Hull have possession. Yes, and a long, long way to go, Tim Street. There goes Mackenzie from acting half, and does well. Hard yards, good 15 there. Penalty against Saints for holding down. Gary Devotee makes touch just outside of Hull's 30 metre line. Craven. Gets the halfway. Good run by Steve Craven. Windley. Kitchen. McNamara. Hull lose a yard on that play. But here goes Kitchen from acting half. <laughs> Devotee. Two tackles of the six to go. Hull on the 30 metre line. Windley. To Street. Almost picked up his support, but Steve Craven just overrun him. It's the last tackle. Comes to Ewan Windley. Goes to the air. Good one. Watch the whole chest like good take by Prescott. Tremendous take by Steve Prescott. Classic fullback play. Yes, he took it well, didn't he? Under a lot of pressure as the whole players were coming through. 
Joey Hayes coming in now. Neither team used any substitutes as of yet. And as we know, we've only two substitutions. Obviously, Hull only have the two substitutions uh, in the first division, uh, don't we, uh, Steve? That's right. And uh, obviously, in what we class as the uh, Premier Division, the top uh, flight have four, but with it being cup competition today, as uh, Hammond lays the ball off for Busby, Busby pushes them off left and right. Joint was there, it's the last tackle of the sequence. Oh, that's a loose ball, that's a good pressure by Hull. It's still on the sixth tackle. Perellini chips it. It's too deep, it's well taken. Rob Nolan takes it well. David Lyon finally stops his progress. Perellini, the kicker, followed it up. And Lyon penalised for not breaking quickly enough at the tackle and a penalty to Hull. Yes, so uh, chance for Hull to make yards again. Gary Devorty kick to touch. And that uh, sequence to start 25 metres from their own line. Craven. Oh, good run by Steve Craven again. And straight. A oh, baffling run by Street, nearly up to halfway. Fisher. I haven't seen much of Gar Andy Fisher as an attacking force. Good tackle underneath by Hammond. May David. St. Helens offside. Penalty against Lachlan for arguing. Silly thing that. So Hull in a good attacking position. Best attacking position to be in this half. Mackenzie. Craven for the post. Oh, good run back. Craven loses the ball, though. Second tackle. And Prescott makes valuable yards. Clears the danger. Yes, Craven was going like a train there towards the sticks. Lost possession. Prescott did well. Took it behind his own line and uh, got out of jail. But the game stopped. Hull infringing up the play of the ball, pushing the man off in his efforts to uh, play it quickly. And Bobby Golding finds touch on the Thripney stand side. Still the score. Eight to Hull, 16 to Saints. Six minutes gone in the second half. As we said, a place in the last eight, and the ball lost there by Bernard Dwyer. Tim Street picks him up. Just uh, lost control of the ball. That uh, would have been clearly in your view there. Bernard Dwyer is disappointed early in the tackle count, but it's how it goes. Head and feed to, to Hull. Kitchen. Bacona. Lines out to Mackenzie. He's going all the way. Sterling sorry, on that side. And he's going close to the post. What a miracle ball from Tavita Bacona. Not to be tackled. I think the Saints players were thinking about pushing into touch. And on that far side, he popped on the ball. And here's a clear run for Paul Sterling, who's had a bit of a try drought in recent weeks, man. But what an important score. Oh, very, very important. Puts all right back in the game. It's 18, uh, sorry, 16-12 with a kick to come. Not too difficult to kick. Very, very important. The whole scored first in the, the second half, and they did. Good run by the corner. Held off the two St. Helens tacklers. Slipped that ball to Sterling, and there's no stopping Sterling. David coming off, Terry Manning coming on. Yeah, McNamara converts. So the score now, Hull 14, St. Helens 18, at 16. Who's come on? Terry Manning. For... No, no substitute for pace there, Brian, and uh, that was great work by Vicorna. You know how strong this man is, obviously, you're watching him week in and week out. He scored the first try here, held up the ball to perfection there, 
Sterling coming in and uh, that was it, superb try. Hold back in possession, but no doubt they'll uh, progress uh, up the field. Yes, and it's uh, Paul Sterling again, but well pursued this time by Bernard Dwyer. Here's Mackenzie going from acting half. And some very good running from acting half by both holds wingers, a tactic they've used all year. It's worked as well today as it has all season. A good bustling run by Tim Street. McNamara, back inside to Gary Duke. And out to uh, Scriven, it looked a little forward to me, but it's the last tackle. Paul going short side with Kitchen. And that's the last tackle. And Saints have it on the turnover, needed a kick there into the corner. Chris Kitchen, don't think it was aware it was the last tackle. It certainly did, but good yardage again. What can you say? 60, 70 metres upfield. As you say, Steve, I thought it certainly looked uh, suspect. The last pass, it didn't matter. The referee let it go, but the man was tackled in possession. And that try of Sterling's there that came, that came from obviously that uh, lost ball just in front of us here. But Hull capitalised on the Saints' mistake, and that's what you've got to do. Capitalise on the opposition's mistakes. And certainly we've got a game here now, haven't we? Two points separating the sides. Hull 14, Saints 16. Lachlan out there to Dean Busby. Perellini out again. Saints with an overlap on the left, on, on the right, I should say. If they could have moved it, but that's good tackling there. Prescott. Linking in from the fullback position, making the extra man. It's the last tackle of the sequence. Cunningham to Golden. Golden breaks through the tackle. He'll have to kick it. He chips it forward. He chips it again. Can Golden grub it? Oh, it's over for this side. Anthony Sullivan's there. Lachlan's there. Can Lachlan squeeze in? Oh, he gives it Sullivan. Sullivan's in for the try. Well, that's a try there, and that's a hole of penalised there. That was on the sixth tackle. And Saints stuck to the guns. Golden, the man, it was Cunningham from the acting halfback. He fed it to Golden. Golden was looking which way to go. He went through, he grubbed it through. He chipped it again, he chipped it on again. And then it was an opposite diagonal uh, grubber kick through that came over to the left. Paul Lachlan took it. Sullivan was there and around. Lachlan went for the corner, turned it inside to Sullivan. And he's in for his second of the afternoon. On the sixth tackle again there, Steve, and I'm afraid that Hull FC were caught. Man over to finish off. A bit unfortunate for Hull, conceding a try on the last tackle, but uh, the Saints side can strike from anywhere at any time. Important kick for Bobby Goulding. 20 to 14 the score. Can he restore Saints' eight-point lead? a good kick straight to the middle pressure kick by Bobby Gould and he comes up with the goods again Saints back out 22 to 14 yes a great conversion by Golden to an equally excellent try finished by Sullivan created by Golden on the sixth tackle and Hull caught there just as they was coming back into the game within two points of the Saints and now Saints extend the lead back to eight. <laughs> McNamara from the centre spot. Kicks it deep and high and Prescott is it? No, Joey Hayes that comes in for it. Hayes again, eager to take the ball. As first receiver and drive it up. Fogarty. Attracting a lot of attention. Two and three men have got to get into this big forward, big rangy forward now it's with Dwyer and Saints again pressing up making good forward yardage in their set of six just as Hull have done throughout the match Perellini juggles with it then drives it up over the halfway Prescott was uh, on his left he couldn't release it, Tim Street had clamped him Golden looking for the runners, changing the point of attack cries of uh, obstruction from the uh, homesters I think Certainly looked a little suspect. It's on the sixth tackle. Hammond puts it deep into this corner. It's gone touching goal. All the restart from the centre of the 20. Yeah, Saints back with that eight point lead, taking a bit of the pressure off themselves. <coughs> Terry Manning getting into the game. 
straight. That's a good run by Street up to the 40 meter line. What a big game today, 10 Street. Steve Craven, short side play, good tackle by Laughlin. Windley. Kitchen. McNamara. And that's well spotted by Dean Busby. So know what was happening there. The Steve McNamara hurt in that tackle. Manning. Over halfway, but offside against Saints. Second time they've conceded a penalty for offside. I can't remember one in the first half at all for offside at the play of the ball. So Gary Devotti finds touch. Pull to restart. Set of six beginning on the Saints 30 meter line. Here's Steve Craven. Makes 10. Windley. Street. About 25 meters out. Duke goes from acting half, but well met by Perolini. Devorti. Windley. Sit inside the kitchen. And Gary Duke in some trouble as Manning runs from acting half back to McNamara to Vacona. Vacona going for the corner. Inside. Manning picks up. Can he make the corner? I don't think he can quite get there. St. Helens. Well, had the ball come off. And he gives it to Hull. I think the put in, the referee, the touch judge on that side. Gives Hulls the put in. Gary Duke receiving attention. Good spirited Hull attack again, Brian. Yeah, very good Hull attack. Thought at first when Bacona got the ball, he was going to go over into the corner, but St. Helens got across, pushed him back. And also, uh, Gary Dukes. That's his shoulder, he certainly hurt his shoulder. Hard to see how bad it is. So for this. For this scrum, Fisher's come out to uh, stand off. Duke's going back into the scrum. Fisher. Fisher. Oh, lovely long deep ball to Rob Nolan, but well read by the St. Helens defence by Paul Lockman. Sterling off for Maxon Arthur. Good run by Sterling. G Craven. All right, into where the St. Helens forwards were. They'd have been better off angling his run toward the post. Windley, not a good ball there from Maxon Arthur from Duke. I think his, his, uh, his shoulder's hurting. Rob Nolan. Good referee's going to play the knock on. I think Gary Duke will have to come off. Obviously, he's out his shoulder. <laughs> so, Jess Cassidy on, going into loose forward. Gary Devotee going to hooker and obviously going to organise things from acting half back for its St. Helens speed. Hammond. Tackle by Kitchen. Yeah. See it's in the possession now. Hull just making the substitution. Cassidy on uh, for Duke. He's took a shoulder injury. Lockley now for the Saints running cross field. 30 metres out. Saints bring it on the short side. Chris Joint again. Referee Presley shouting at the old players to get back on side. As Dwyer takes it up the middle. Last tackle of the sequence. Golden again. Short chip for Steve Prescott, but right into the hands of by corner, the danger man. Yeah, it trips. Paul Sterling running off. Oh, not good tackle. By Perolini again. Use his pace, Perolini. McNamara. Steve Craven. Oh, loses the ball. Trying to pass when there's nothing on. 
So second tackle again, Hull. Yes, yeah, an unforced error again. Anthony Sullivan trying to get through the uh, most slim of spaces. Quickly closed down, but Saints have the possession unexpectedly. Was Hull lost possession in the, what, the second tackle of that uh, count? Along the line, Hammond, shot ball there. Busby, out there to Pedalini. Over the top, it's touched in flight, it must be all on. Lyon turns it inside, Joy Hayes, he'll go behind the sticks. Well, I think the referee would have waved another set of six on as Hayes touches down for another try for the Saints, which extends the lead to 26 points to 14. Good play up centre field. Sullivan tried to take it on the short side here, then it was moved inside, Golding. The ball went upfield, quick hands, Perolini over to Lyon. I think there was a, a touch in flight, it didn't matter, it went... Looking to add another two points to the four points Joy Hayes has just provided. 26-14, that makes it 28 points to 14. A 14 point cushion for the Saints. We've had about 20 minutes of the second half. And I don't think the Hull are finished yet. They've come back after trailing by eight points. They closed the gap to two, then Saints extended it again and they just extended it by another six. It's cup rugby and they've, they've worked hard. Unfortunately, they've had to put uh, two substitutions on. Duke there, the very industrious hooker, just going off. And uh, Jez Cassidy is another uh, excellent forward. Slipping on and right into the loose forward berth. Saints have possession from the kickoff. The ball loose. Hull FC snap it up quickly to where Saints should have been in possession. Hull now have the ball. And it's Paul Sterling. The Hull need a quick reply. Windley. Fisher. Street. left with Windley. Takes them on, Kitchen. McNamara, inside to Vakona. Vakona going for the line, and is he made it? He has! Oh, good reply by Hall. A try straight away, and a nice bit of work. And it was that, really the surprise inside pass from Steve McNamara. The line really looking as if Hall was stretching Saints out wide, but brought Vakona on the inside, and he had enough power, Brian, to cross and give Hall just that chance. Yeah, good try. Good try, not, it took the, ran the angle well, wrong foot of the uh, St. Helens defenders and too strong for the last line of defence. So it puts all right back in it. So it's Steve McNamara. Kicks it, it's there. So I think we're going to have a grandstand finish with the deficit back to eight, Rob. Well, I just said, uh, uh, Brian, obviously the game's not over, even though Saints had a 14-point cushion. You can see the Hull still going, moving forward. This man again by corner, he's had a hand in all the three Hull tries, hasn't he? Scored two, made one, and uh, I think Saints should um, extend a little bit of uh, St. Selling's hospitality to him to make sure that his progress is stopped when he tries to get through. <laughs> right. Kick goes to Windley. To Cassidy. Sterling. <laughs> to Iron Joint in the tackles, and a lot of tackles of uh, to Iron Joint. Tim Street. Good run by Street. Pull going left. Cassidy again. Oh, but a good tackle by Perolini. Waited for him, but was strong enough to put him down. Steve Craven, running across, straight to straight now. Good run by Craven. Last tackle. McNamara kicks into the corner. Not a bad kick, it should be Prescott's ball. Oh, picks it up well. Oh, beats Windley. Still going, Prescott. Finally tackled by Manning, but an excellent piece of play by Steve Prescott. Yes, he took it well there, Brian. Cleared the defence after McNamara had uh, kicked it through. The deficit reduced. 
to eight points, six, 28, Hull 20, 15 minutes remaining. Dean Busby, 10 meters inside the Hull half. For McNamara being a judge to have forced uh, Busby down well it didn't look a lot in that at all I'm really surprised that the referees come up with a, a decision like that but you can see obviously uh, Saints uh, I'll accept that and Bobby Golden is going to have a go for the goal but uh, cries obviously from the uh, coaching staff to our right uh, Steve that uh, he played for that and maybe he did yeah that's one of those 50-50 ones the sort of decision the referee often gives early in a game, but maybe forgets about a bit later. But this uh, this time he didn't. So Bobby Goulden with this uh, kick of about 35 metres. Good position, you'd bet him to, to kick this. Yes, he'll extend the Saints lead to 10 if he does. 28-20 at present, composes himself. Has it teed up on that list, little plastic tee. Strikes it well. Got to make sure the ball goes dead. It does go dead. But it doesn't go between the sticks. Hull FC will drop out. 25 meet the 20 meter line. The continuing saga at St Helens of uh, New Love, whether it's on or off or where he's going or whatever, uh, still to be resolved. Got a penalty to Hull. State's player obviously uh, judged uh, well offside. He's given there a strange decision. decision yeah. Well, I'm not quite sure what the reason of, but it's very welcome to Hull. And here's Steve Craven, getting up to the 20 metre line. Straight. Run very hard, Hull's two props worked very hard again in the second half. Here's Cassidy, certainly had a bit of mobility to the whole pack. Done his first game for a few weeks, just Cassidy. McNamara. Oh, Nolmo ducks under, about five metres out. Go from acting half back, is he in? It looks like a try. It is. The moves under that one, Gary Devotee, is it? Yeah. It is. A bit of experience from Gary Devotee. And the easiest of tries, Brian. Yeah, the St. Helens defenders were set. Saw the gap, strong enough to get there, Gary Devotee. And it's going to be a really last tense, last ten minutes or so of this game, and it's certainly not over. Yes, it's caught cold there, Brian, really. The, uh, they should have been up to the task. Devoti there went in for it. But, uh, some good drives before McNamara came close. But uh, good try in the end. It's going to be another two points and only two points in it. Let's hope so. So it's Steve McNamara taking his time. Gathering himself. Important kick. And it's there. Can tell from the move by the walls of the crowd. It's there, so... 26 and Helen's 28. Substitution for Saints. Uh, Fogarty's off. Fogarty. Leatham on. Young man. Golden kicks it low. Cassidy. Tackle by Hammond. Mackenzie running off, Mackenzie. Well, tackled by Cunningham and Leatham. Fisher. Oh, good tackle by Dwyer, very good tackle. Tackle well as Dwyer for St. Helens, tremendous tackler. McNamara, picking up the left. Oh, good run by Steve McNamara, not quite away. Oh, Rob Nolan, Street gets rid of it. Joint makes the tackle, last tackle. It's the Johan Windley. Kicks high, good kick by Windley, good kick. Oh, Prescott takes it well. Sterling's up to make the tackle, St. Helens on their own line. It's Lyon. Oh, good tackle, and a knock on. So it'll be Hull's head and ball. From the St. Helens Lionstone. Well, sensational stuff here. Can Hull keep their heads here? It's as, it's as 
incumbent of course on the, the, the attacking side to keep the heads as much as the defence in these situations tremendous roar from the crowd Hull must play six tackles he mustn't think of plenty of time there's ten minutes to go yet Vakona going from acting half Street. Big run by Tim Street. Good bustling run by Street. Within about eight meters. That's all Hull out from the line. Wingley. Fisher. Fisher going on. Nearly there. About two meters away. Rob Miller from acting half. It's the last tackle. He's inches short. Street. Chips through Tim Street. Ball comes loose, Saints have it. Oh, tight stuff, Ron. Well, what pressure. Yes, I'd say. And the ball's loose, is the try given? Is it what to have Hull touched down? Hull have the possession. Yeah, Hull again, I don't know how they lost it. Oh, a penalty oh, against Hull for playing, not playing the ball correctly. Oh. Well, as you, as you just said, uh, Obviously disappointed, Dursley, but as you said, the attacking side as well as the defending side have got to keep the composure. Unfortunately, they didn't there, but mistakes are coming thick and fast. Sage did well to weather the storm after a, an alleged knock-on. And all won the, the, the scrum possession. They came inches short, perilously close. But Sage now still leading by the narrowest of the scores, 28-26. And time counting down, eight minutes of this third round Regal Trophy tie. A trophy that Saints have only won once. I think Hull have only won it once, but they've been in the final three times. Saints only been in the final on the one occasion. The kick up field and Bobby Gold in the first man in there to cover the defence. Nolan came away with it. Hull have the possession. And a battling run by McKenzie, the hard yards, Hull's wingers have done that so well today. McNamara. Well, plenty of time, but corner, the danger man gives it to Sterling. Runs into Dwyer and Perolini. Steve Craven. Oh, good run by Craven. McNamara on a drop off. To oh, Cassidy, oh. ball done by the hand. Well, a true test of uh, grit and uh, grim determination now from both sides. But obviously, say it's with the upper hand, if you can say that, a slender two point lead. I wonder if we take one man off first, Steve. Do you think that'd be any better for us? Because we won handsomely with 11 against Bradford. But I, I wouldn't say so tonight or this afternoon. But say it's have the possession. Desperate to score, to extend the lead. Andy Leatham making his debut for the Saints. Has played earlier in the season, but this is his league debut. It's now with Bernard Dwyer trying to draw the defence in. Dwyer gives the dummy, drives it upfield. Will Golden be in line for a dropper? He's Golden, Jot it, he turns it inside to joint, joint. Oh, turns it back, and Johan Windley welcomes it. It's now with Vi Corner, is it? And he breaks quickly. Yeah, it's a lot of danger when Bobby Goulding's got the ball, but this time Hull managed to claim possession as he's sterling on a good run to the 30 metre line. Oh, what tremendous excitement in the last stages of this match. Jez Cassidy. Well, pretty high. Round the net, the referee says, not a high tackle. Tim Street up to halfway. Tim Street had a big game for me, worked very, very hard. Windley takes him on, chips through, carries on, chips past Prescott, it's a rough up race now, Prescott makes it dead, good work by Johan Windley. Hull come up with a six again, very well read that Brian. Yeah, Windley did well, catches his head, his kick was perfect, but uh, Prescott turned and he was first there, but what a finish, tremendous game this. Still five, at least five minutes to go, Ron. Yeah, super work by Windley. Saw the gap, he drew the defence across, chipped it through and chipped it again. But I'd, uh, I'd, I'd lay Prescott against him. Well, two speedy campaigners there, but uh, Prescott on the back foot. He got to the ball, kicked it dead, but Hull are going to have another set of six, Brian. And here goes Jess Cassidy with a 
pretty fresh pair of legs are well tackled by Leatham. Craven, Craven, Craven. Ooh. Nearly gets away. Terry Manning for the post. Bernard Dwyer makes the tackle. Steve Orchard acts an halfback. It's Kitchen. 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 Now oh, gets Perolini gets in. Steve McNamara. The corner. Chip through. Should be Prescott's ball, and it is. Does well again, Steve Prescott, under pressure. Well, it just didn't come off for Vicor at that time. I'm very pleased to see. But Hull not lining up correctly and a welcome uh, penalty award. It's a Rita by corner, the regal man of the match. And he's been excellent this afternoon. As I, has, as I said, he's had a hand in all the three Hull tries. Obviously scoring two, laying the ball on for the, the other one to uh, Sterling. Was it Sterling that scored it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Magnificent uh, hold of the ball and lay off and then slipped it at the right time. But it's Saints now with that slender two-point lead. David Lyon! Over the halfway. Lachlan's there. Sullivan was on his outside. Lachlan attacked in half. The big man takes the ball five metres further up. Time running out. Four minutes and counting. Cunningham looking for support. There's Hammond, slips it to Perellini. Perellini centre field, looking for support again. Well, that was knocked down by a whole player, but then the Saints man came in for it and knocked it forward. I think it should be a scrum down with a whole feed. He's not given two knock-ons, has he? Scrum down. Well, he's given the Saints feed. I think he'd a bit harshly done to there. I didn't think Hull had knocked it forward, but obviously uh, we're going to accept the referee's decision. Saints with the scrum, head and feed, and Golding. 10 metres from the line, Saints with another five tackles to hopefully get over the whitewash and secure this tie. Hammond, short well Hammond, he still goes, I was going to say short ball to joint, but he kept hold of it, joint to dummy half, joint tries to go from the dummy half position, a host of whole tacklers there, time counting down, four minutes and counting, Saints in the lead by two points, Andy Leatham, inches short, Cunningham attacked in half, well, he looked as though he knocked it forward. He certainly did crash from the faithful. Overlap for the Saints. Lyon. It's to Perellini. Can Perellini go in? He can. Oh, Perellini. Is that the match winner? Perellini's delighted. He's up in the air. Controversy again as to whether that was a knock on by Cunningham. And all the uh, whole coaching staff to the right of us thought it was a knock on. I don't know whether he'd actually knocked it forward, but. Uh, Two minutes to the final hooter and Apollo Perellini with a peach of a try in the end from a good angle. After Hull coming close at the end, they put a hell of a amount of pressure on the Saints line at the, uh, the opposite end and Saints stuck to the guns, came upfield, drove the ball up well, spread it out well under a lot of pressure even though they still had that slender two-point lead, but it was Perellini that came up with it, juggled it, went over, turned out of the tackles, Golding converts it. Another six points for the Saints, and I think that uh, that could be the match winner, Steve. Bitterly disappointed, especially after containing the, the um, or holding the Saints and nearly scoring at the opposite end, and then that try there just coming uh, near the death. Thirty-four, twenty-six. Short kick off. Hull off possession. Well, Hull have knocked it forward. The play allowed to go on. Or oh, the referee bringing it back. He's giving it a knock on. It was a knock on by Hull. I still think he was hard done to at that end, Steve. I didn't think that Hull had knocked on. I know Saints knocked on. Hull did lose the ball. It came, it, it, it came back, went back, I thought. But anyway, the referee was right on the job. But from the resulting scrum, Saints end up with her set of six and they ended up going scoring with Perellini, touching down for the four-pointer. Time running out. We're actually, we actually played 40 minutes now, Steve. We're in uh, time added on for injury, for stoppage. 
but a tremendous uh, performance by the early bird this afternoon nothing no more you can say by corner and his team uh, you've, you've done you proud there's no danger about that and a uh, tightly contested game always is difficult here at the boulevard and uh, i think saints uh, perhaps fortunate to come through steve yes they've uh, i'll just pull that extra bit of class i think hull will uh, feel that some of the 50 50 decisions went against them the the penalty for not playing the ball correctly on the St Helens line was one, I think, that uh, was one will cause a bit of concern. But a uh, no sense of look quality, and it looks as if they may score again here with Hayes going for the corner. And is he finished off? He has. It's going to flatter Saints as his final score. I think Ronnie will be the first to admit that. Well, yes, it certainly is. Uh, it just may not reflect the state of the game but Joey Hayes going in for his second in stoppage time a minute and 20 seconds of stoppage time and referee Presley just getting a little bit of stick on the far side he'll not be bothered will he didn't have a the, the thick skin the thick as rhino skin these uh, men in the middle but Golden has the kick waved away and there's the final hooter as the Saints finish off with a flourish for a tightly contested game. Even though uh, Saints opened a 14 point gap, Hull clawed back, clawed it back to two. Hull looking up to uh, snatch the win at the end, but an exciting game, Steve. The, the scoreline flatters at the end, as you say. 38 26. Good game. Yes, yeah, a very good game. The Hull lifted that performance today, really, showing what they can do. I think they've uh, in the first division, which which there are some weakish teams. They haven't had to play in full intensity all all every week. Today they certainly did. Certainly a gap in pace, I think, between the two sides. But Hull made up with tremendous commitment and some very very good work from those two young halfbacks in the second half. Brian, what a good experience for them and how well they've come out of it. Yeah, I thought they both played pretty well. In fact, the whole, whole team did. The, I don't think the problem wasn't scoring the tries; it was stopping St. Helens. And a couple of times they got caught called from acting halfback where the extra pace of the Saints got up, got up that little bit quick, a little bit more before the whole defence was set, and that caused some problems. But a good game and a good performance by Hull.